Dante's lovely world was a vessel of fun that spanned for over 10 years, or was it? What would you say if I were to tell you that what you had witnessed in his videos were never really the true events of what conspired in that lovely world, but rather a figment of Stampy's imagination? Hear me out. Once I reveal it all to you, the way you view that memory will change. When Stampy arrived in his lovely world all those years ago, it was exactly the way we were seeing it. He was having fun, and building and playing, just like the Stampy we know today. Then came episode we were introduced to Gregory the dog, the first dog Stampy befriended. He loved him as much as any man, or in this case cat, could love a dog. We saw their strong bond in that single episode, but then came the first tragedy. Episode 7, the death of Gregory. We heard the pain in Stampy's voice as he buried his friend. This single loss would be the first nail on the coffin that would eventually send him on a downward spiral to insanity. Episode 16, we meet a character you are all familiar with. Hit the target. Ever since his first appearance, he has been causing trouble. The discovery of a secret dog army by his base and all. Episode 17 marked the second and third dog deaths. Stampy Goodnose and Snowy. He never found out the cause of Stampy Goodnose's death, but Snowy was killed when a trail of lava spewed out into the wrong place. Losing two dogs in one video just made. The next two to go were Porky and Guilty Bark. The pain. Were Porky and Guilty Bark the pain he felt. How is it possible to experience so much loss? Maybe it wasn't worth it to keep going. How can I keep going when all of this is my fault? I did it. I caused it. I don't deserve it. <coughs> Episode 42 was when the snap finally occurred. Stampy got word that Hit the Target was finally invading. First priority? Protect the dogs. At all costs. He sat them all down in the clubhouse and ran to hit the target's fortress and begun the battle. But he wasn't careful enough. A dog. A man's best friend. They will protect you no matter the price that will be paid and that's what Lucky did. Sacrificed herself for her master, for her friend. But this single action would change Stampy's lovely world forever. From the point of Lucky's death is where the true story ended. We are no longer witnessing what Stampy is seeing but rather what he is choosing to believe. Grief takes many forms and in this case, denial. Stampy Cat, so full of hope and ready to take on the world around him forcefully snapped his own mind and sent himself into a state of descent. The real Stampy, the one on the outside of this world is being held captive, not just by himself but by the one who took everything from him in the first place. Of course, upon seeing their friend lose it, they were faced with the option of what to do next. The helpers tried bringing him back but to no avail. In their desperation, they decided to turn to a man they didn't fully understand, bringing back destruction and torment into the world, this time with no one to stop him. It's not like Stampy wasn't at least a little aware of what was going on in the world outside his head. He had many more encounters with Hit the Target in his made-up fantasy world, many more dogs die. That's the last string of hope left in his brain, trying to snap him out of the delusions and bring him back into the world. But maybe a tragedy in this world could cause the entire dream to fracture, but it was never strong enough. Years went by and the world inside Stampy's head flourished, but the other one was no longer lovely. It was not beyond saving though. Or was it ever saved? Final episode of Stampy's Lovely World. Final battle with Hit the Target. The exiting of the lovely world. There was no grief in the battle. There was only new beginning. This gives us options, but I fear the one you wish to be true is just our denial. The exiting of the lovely world through the acceptance that not everything could be lovely could mean Stampy awoke from his solitude and went to save the world. But let's not fall victim to the same thing he did. We never saw what came next. Obviously, Hit the Target was watching Stampy the whole time. He wasn't dead, otherwise we would not know anything of what came after the first battle, but he was beginning to break free, little by little, his sanity returning to him. Hit the Target wasn't the stupid villain you may think he is. That version of Hit the Target that you know was destined to keep Stampy in his paralysed state. The real Hit the Target knew he was a threat and he couldn't be allowed to live. It was evil beyond comprehension, but was also a mercy kill, allowing Stampy to be at peace, and we know he was. Thank you so much for listening to my random theory I came up with while sitting on the toilet. Don't take anything I mention in these videos too seriously. We like to have fun around here. If you enjoyed and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. We're getting close to 800 subs now. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.